Last week, I made a video about Neon getting in trouble in Dubai and the reason for it. Everyone else on the internet was like, oh, because of the way Sam was dressing. It's because of this. Uh, just creating uh, laws out of their ass. They were like, it's an Islamic country. They're not allowed to do this. They're not al allowed to do that. Just making shit up. Then I came and I confirmed that the reason what was for it. And then later on, all these um, news pages, once they got the information, once the, they got the source, they realized it was for illegal video. They didn't have a permit, basically, to shoot the video there. Now, I'm not a sidekick or a magician or anything. I cannot see into the future. I've just been living here for 24 years in the Dubai. And I've been detained. I've went to court before. I've been into cases. I understand the situation. I know enough about how things work. Let me do a quick recap if you don't know what's going on about Neon's situation. Neon, he thought he's still in the US. He can film anything and everyone. He can just go be himself and get content out of everything and everyone. Now, things do not work exactly the way they work in the West. You cannot take a camera go to a mall have a cameraman shooting you hello swap phones do you trust them how long you've been together yes you can take your phone you can take pictures of for example dubai aquarium in dubai mall you can take pictures of burj khalifa you can videotape stuff but interviews uh live streams these things require permits to shoot especially if you're a huge content creator you cannot just come to a place especially malls certain places and film these things and you know the all these content creators you see they're walking up to random people random people hello what do you do for a living the guy is like oh yeah i know you from tiktok they're trying to be like you know the daniel cobalt daniel it's okay in the u.s to film random people but here every single thing you see on social media all the way from lifestyle to interviews are fake staged planned from before i've been a part of one of them before in 2022 where they asked me what do i do for a living but the guy literally came before and he was like yo i'm gonna walk up to you and just you know act natural and just be surprised that you see me i was like that's one of the reasons you don't see any prank channels here in the middle east barely if they do pranks they do it on each other on their group of friends now a lot of accounts on twitter are coming out streamer neon breaking has been sentenced to one year in prison in dubai just creating chaos with fake news to just to get those clicks and the united arab emirates they take their image very seriously and especially when we said in the last video when they said the stream is off and they were filming the police officers doing their job i said there will be consequences for that situation and the reason neon hasn't responded yet i exactly know how this is going to go this is either going to go two ways he's either detained and he's not allowed to post anything on social media but it's most likely that he's still on his hotel but the police and the government are monitoring his every move on social media until his court date comes up and they decide what they want to do with him and until then you are not allowed to post and talk about any of the situations because it is super serious my friend a while ago there was this guy as well called car car expert i think most of you are into cars they know him he posts a lot of things sharing information teaching you to do this and that but there was certain type of videos he used to do where he goes inside a car rental and he brings a fake money dollars and he's like i want to buy this for my fourth wife i want to only it's only like two million dollars this car give me five of them for my seventh wife and obviously showing this amount of money and saying that two million dollars is nothing it is something that people would watch it is a viral clickbait but after a couple of videos one video meant mega viral for like around 40 million views and that is when it came across the authorities that he is wearing a uae national you know for those of you in the u.s dubai dubai is a city in the u in the uae who is wearing a UAE national cloth and he is bringing the reputation of the culture and the UAE nationals down. And that is a serious thing as well. And guess what? He got arrested for it. He disappeared for three to four months. Then he came back. People said he was arrested. People say this and that, but he never spoke about it. And he switched up the content, kept it PG-13, no more running around with money and, you know, wife, my fourth wife and this and that. It just talks about cars and share cars car videos same thing with neon's situation it's very unlikely for him to get arrested and be sentenced to jail even if people get like sentenced to 20 years in jail you're gonna serve two to three years then you're gonna get deported to your own country they don't want to keep your fat ass over here they have to pay for your food they have to pay for this and that they just deport you you can never come back to this 
country again. I think that's the best solution as well. For Neon's worst case scenario in this situation, he is going to get maybe sentenced for to like three months, two months. Then he's going to come out, pay a fine, boom. And he's probably going to get banned from the UAE if it's like if the case is like too serious because there's still no more information about it. So either next week he's going to come out and be like, yeah, with some serious stuff, we didn't have permit to shoot this. And thankfully they gave us another chance. Or he's going to disappear for two, three months, then he's going to come back and he's not going to talk about it. I, th I think he will. He wants, he goes back to the, yeah, he's going to share his experience about what happened and that's it max two to three months disappear and he's gonna come back and i came across this one tweet as well vitaly saying one phone call and i can get him out should i do it bro came in dubai a decade ago he met some rich people and now he thinks he, he he has the contacts to do whatever he wants but one thing that does not matter here in the uae is money one thing that does matter is reputation. Even if you're at the highest of the highest, yes, there are some stuff you can get away with, but certain stuff you cannot. And the fact that they posted this video on Dubai and most people on the internet, on Twitter, especially in the United States, they're saying, oh my God, Dubai is, why would anyone want to go there? This is bad advertising for them and this is just pisses them off. So even if Vitaly calls one of his contacts they will not even answer him because they only hang out with him because he had followers. Now he's a kick streamer with not a lot of followers. Even if they do, they're not going to do anything about the situation because this is too serious and why would they even want to risk it? So it's all a gir gir, I would say, from Vitaly's side. So I'm tweeted this as well. I cannot speak on anything, but when I can, you guys will be the first to know. That's exactly what I said. You cannot talk about the situation until the case is resolved. And even if they, after the case is resolved, there are certain things you are never going to hear about unless you're friends with Neon off camera and he will share it with you. And one thing I keep on coming across from people who... I check the comments on the tw you know tweets of Neon getting arrested. There's a lot of people who are saying, "Oh, thank God, only one year. I hope he gets 20 years. I hope he gets that. I hope he dies in jail." It's too much, guys. I get it. You don't like him. I'm not a fan of him as well, but these things are just it's too much bro never harmed anyone in public he's just a keyboard warrior talking shit behind the internet behind the camera that's about it you know you shouldn't be like oh he deserves to die he deserves to serve 50 years in prison because he's a piece of shit i see a lot of people like that and honestly they need to take a chill pill and look at their own reflection in the mirror and what is coming out of their mouth does he deserve a little bit of spanking on his butt to grow up and make good irl content yes does he deserve to be spanked in prison by one of the inmates no, most probably he's just going to be fined and deported back to the US and within a week or two he's going to back on making IRL kick content. Maybe he was, he's going to learn a thing or two from his experience over there and others can learn before they go to the country to at least study the law. But anyways, that was the that was an update about the Neon situation. Obviously, if anything comes up, I will let you know. If you're still eating your food and you're not done with it and you want to watch more videos, you know what to do. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.